Hello, my dear friends. Now we will start the last topic of this chapter, and that is advantages of optical fiber. In the previous session, we have gone through the various numericals which may ask in your university examination, and now we will start our the last topic of this chapter. and that is advantages of optical fiber now see what are the advantages of optical fibers or where we normally use them see the basic advantages is what as we all know that optical fiber works on the principle of total internal reflection as it is works on total internal reflection so main benefit is what due to that the data loss is very less data loss is very less or we can say it is hardly 0.1 to 0.2% so this much of data that is that is a possibility that this much of data will lost otherwise 99% data will reach safely at the outer end so this is the main advantage of optical fiber then the second one we can say that as we all know that the diameter of optical fiber it is hardly 1 to 5 mm so as it is very thin so it occupies very less space so this is another one the benefit of optical fiber as it has a much much smaller diameter so they occupy very less space so this is the second advantage now again the third one we can say see as it is very small so to operate the optical fiber we need very small power again this is another benefit so very small power is required for operation is required for operation so this is another advantage of optical fiber then we'll go for the next one then again as we all know that optical fibers basically they are made up of either silica material or plastic so that means what as compared to metals silica or plastic or glass they are very easily available and they are very cheap so the main advantage again another one that is optical fibers are very cheap as compared to metallic wires or metallic systems then again we'll go for the fifth one now see as we all know that optical fibers basically they are made up of either plastic or glass or silica and they are the insulator materials so these are or there is no any effect or much less effect on the optical fiber due to the environmental changes now environmental changes means what there may be a change in pressure so here i'll write a delta p or instead of that we can directly write here no effect no effect of parameters like pressure then again a change in pressure or change in temperature or the humidity so all these parameters they have no effect on optical fibers in this way you can take other parameters also so this is what this is another advantage of optical fiber that it not or it does not get much affected by the parameters like change in pressure temperature humidity or sometime twisting nothing happens to optical fiber like in very uh, less cases like whenever we discuss special type of optical fibers then in that case we have to check it out that which factors may affect the optical fiber there will be that or we can say for those type of special optical fiber these parameters they will be effective but in general we can say that there is no effect as such on the optical fiber or the operation or the functioning of optical fiber so these are about these are the basic 
advantages of optical fiber now see due to these all advantages we use optical fiber in many of the sections like the main basic common section is what in communication as nowadays we all know that the communication sector is now shifting on the optical fiber so so in communication system it has wide range of uses then again in another field like uh, medicines then in aircraft like whenever we do aircraft cabling we use optical fibers then for data security then uh, in sensors also we use optical fiber now there are lots of optical fiber sensors available then in entertainment application so in this way optical fiber has a wide range of application so here let's take an example of communication system that how optical fibers use in communication system so here i'll draw the block diagram for the general communication system where we use optical fibers so here first of all see you can write here it will be input or this input is given to a basic block that is we called it as a drive circuit so this will be a drive circuit and input is given to this particular drive circuit now again input it may be a data or a image or video whatever it may be so it is applied to the drive circuit then this drive circuit it is connected to the light source now see this light source it may be an led or any other light source which will convert this electrical impulse into light wave the main basic purpose of light source is what here we sometimes use leds also so the main basic function is what they convert the electrical signal this electrical signal into light signal so this is the main benefit of this then this light signal that is been created by this led or light source it is fed up or it is fed to the optical fiber so suppose this is optical fiber so this signal is now it will be carried by optical fiber to a desired place or the destination we can say then see at the end or at the destination point first of all we use coupler circuit that coupler circuit here i'll write coupler circuit see this coupler circuits are what they are basically used or they direct this particular signal light signal towards the photo detector this coupler it will direct the optical signals or we can say light signals which are coming out from the optical fiber or optical channel they directed it towards the photo detector now see the main application or the function of this photo detector is what this photo detector basically again as the light or whatever input is coming to the photo detector it will be in the form of light wave so this photo detector it converts this light wave or light signal into an electrical impulse so it converts the light signal into a electrical signal so then again this electrical signal see maybe during the transmission as we all know that like optical fibers are not 100% efficient so there is a loss maybe a, it may be a, up to 1% we can say max to max and that loss will be due to the dispersion or maybe some data will be lost into the cladding as we have seen the all the operation of optical fibers so here here there is a might be possibility or there is a possibility of loss in data so here what happens due to that lost sometimes what happens the there will be a we can say there is a problem in signal there will be a little bit weaker signal so all these losses or all these defects they are here we eliminate by using filter circuit so here again these are the there are the filter circuits different types of filter circuits are available 
so these filter circuit what did do is what they simply filter out this particular signal and then or it extracts the message it avoid the noise or any unwanted signals which may appear in the that light signal or output so filter circuit it filters it out and then if amplification is necessary then we use amplifier over here again we know what is meant by amplifier amplifier is a device which is used to amplify the signal that means it will increase the amplitude of the signal so if necessary we amplify the signal and then this signal is again it is what it is as a output so again here again after amplification we use transducers so again transducers they will do what they will convert that electrical signal into a desired output that may be a audio signal or video or whatever it is maybe so this is what this is a general working of communication system this is a overall one and the main benefit or the main parameter over here is what optical fiber which carries or which acts as a carrier for the light waves or it simply carries the signal from input to the output or from initial point to the last point again sometimes if the distance is large if the distance between destination and the starting source if it is large then we use here in between we use a repeater circuit here for optical fiber here we use a repeater circuit these repeater circuits are what they are the simple circuits which we can say which repairs the signal if that is any damage it will repair the signal and then again it is passed through the optical fiber so lots of optical fibers are connected and in between we use these repeater circuit if when if the distance between initial point and the destination if it is large if it is in hundreds of kilometers then we use a repeater so this is what this is the basic working of communication system and this is the main application or we can say this is the application of optical fiber so my dear students i hope you understood the advantages of optical fiber as well as the use of optical fiber in communication system then again in the same way we use optical fiber in various other industries which will you may learn in your higher standards so if you have any doubt then you may ask in next session we will go for new lesson that is a diffraction it's a part of a light we will discuss the various topics comes under that particular chapter and then we'll continue i hope you understood everything whatever i said in the today's session in next session we will discuss a diffraction thank you so much